Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the farm. I'm Lacey. Uh, before we start the video today, please don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe button, uh, and don't forget to share if you like this, and leave comments down below if you have any questions or anything else. Uh, let's get this started. Hey everybody, so I thought today I would do something a little different. Um, I thought I would sit down with you and um, go over my records. Um, I'm just still trying to figure out the height that I want to do all this at. I guess that would be a good one. I have my glasses off because they're dark from being outside. I just came in from doing chores. So yeah, um, and so that gave me the idea of the record of giving you guys Kind of a glimpse of what I do and I'm still in the process of making everything better I still am trying to figure out different sheets spreadsheets to print out and like that so the first one I have is what I'm dealing with right now with the pregnant ones um, and I will use this for other things as well so it's not just for the pregnancy so I have goat records up here um, and inside I have, of course, this first page is blank, but um, I don't know if some of these are pregnant or not. I got to do ultrasounds, but this is a quick of um, for kidding season when it comes that um, we have the does names here. We have when they kitted, how many, girl or boy, can't remember how I have it, and then when they're ready to go. This is going to help me so I'm not having to count out, okay, let's see, they're this old, so, you know. So this will help me be able to determine when they can leave quicker. Um, and so then the next page um, is, this is not, I have another one that this is filled in, um, but that, I'll show you that one here. That is my, the doe's name the buck, when I put them in with, when I took them out, a possible bread date, if I saw the buck doing his deed, or if I see the discharge from after it, and then a possible due date, which that has helped out a lot tremendously instead of me trying to look up on my phone or trying to read my handwriting, because there's times that I'll write it down so fast I can't even read it. So then I print out for the ultrasounds when the vet came, I printed this paper out blank, and so that way I could fill it in, and then I went back on the computer and typed it up so I can read my writing. So, that is that group. Um, the ones with the question marks is that the vet saw, like the one is Lila. She's one for sure, possibly two. The vet saw a possible a sack, possibly for a second one. She just couldn't see it. Um, and the same thing with the other ones that could are two for sure, possibly triplets. So that way I can keep an eye out. I'm not surprised if there's triplets. Or when the second one comes, um, I can reach in there and check and see if there is a third one and not be surprised that there's a third one. So I have this one printed out and ready for when I have the vet come and do ultrasounds um, in January. I gotta figure out a date and have them come. We, the vet likes to do them between 45 days is the earliest to I think 90 days, somewhere in there, I think. Um, and then in, on this page here, I have all the vet numbers that I have. Um, so in case either my phone goes down or my husband needs to call the vet, he can do that. Um, or I have can use his phone. Then the next one is the income and expenses. I write everything down in here. Um, paying feed bills, buying goats, buying other animals because the chickens and the ducks and the guineas are part of the farm account, the farm. Um, buying feed, feed for all of them. Selling an animal, um, that all goes into this. Um, that I keep record. And if I would happen to borrow any money, like 
that's, you know, I try to keep the farm money away from our personal money. Um, so if I would happen to have to borrow some from our personal, then I will pay it back. Um, and the same thing, the kids, they're so, my kids are so generous. They'll even go, mommy, you can, because I'll be like, oh, I'm like short this much. Mommy, you can borrow some of mine. I'm just like, I really don't like doing that, but there are times that I'm in a pinch and I will, but I pay them back. Plus I give them a little extra for letting me borrow it. So now I can use my glasses. All right, so this, as you see, is the goat waiting list. Um, this is for anybody that had called me like last year. I have somebody in here. Um, I don't want to give the name and phone number that I have here. But um, the name, the phone number, how many, if it's boys or girls. Um, some places, some fairs, they want them dehorned. So I have a spot where if they want them dehorned. Um, if they have a down payment, the down payment amount, and then how much it is in full. Um, and I will be printing something off like this. This is what I did last year. Um, this is the mom. This is the dad. Or the birth date. Sorry, this is when they were born. The mom, the dad. Um, and this is when they were born. Um, it goes by when they're born, so it's the oldest to the youngest. Um, and I'm not naming any kids this year, so that's all going to be tag numbers here instead of names. If they're boys or girls, if we're going to keep them or sell them, most likely we're going to sell them. How much and if they're sold. Um, and then I also have in here lined paper that um, if they go to a, a person with that, you know, if they do go to 4 H or well, anybody, I have to keep record of who they go to. But I like to keep record of what fair they go to. So that way, if I have a chance, I can run, go to that fair and see um, how they turned out. Um, and then this one here, I'm starting this one this year. Um, it's uh, shot records for the young ones. Um, because they're the ones that mainly, well, I can do it for the older ones too. Um, but... Uh, so that way I know when I gave them to them and like that there. So the animal ID, either their tag number or their name, how much they weigh because you need to wait for when you're warming. You have to weigh them. Um, and then their both C and their CDT and then the date I gave them. It is very important to know when you gave them. I'm actually going to print out a paper um, with all the medicines that I use. Um, and like that there, all the stuff I use that has a withdrawal time, either a meat withdrawal or and milk withdrawal. I need to know, definitely meat withdrawal, um, but I also need to know the milk withdrawal for the Nubians, uh, for when they come into milk, when we start drinking the milk. Um, so I will be working at printing that out. Um, I'm always like, oh, maybe I should do a spreadsheet like this, so this might help. Um, so, and I'm also working on making a bill of sale kind of thing that um, kind of has everything written out that once the animal leaves, it's not my responsibility anymore um, that I'm selling them as, you know, as far as I know that when they leave here, they was in good health. Um, so that way, uh, I don't have any problems and I'm going to have two papers for each person, um, one for them and one for my records and they will be signed, both papers should be signed. Um, so I'm just kind of doing that, um, trying to think if there's anything else, I can't really think of anything else, but uh, so yeah that's just a little quick overview of the records if you guys have any questions about anything let me know if you have any suggestions of how um you know of some other record keeping i'd be willing to hear it i'm always trying to make things a lot simpler and easier to find so yeah i have got like four different binders <laughs> um so so yeah i can't think of anything else have a great day everybody 
Uh, stay safe, stay warm, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.